Well, today we're going to look at cycling footwear. <laughs> Welcome back to Bike Geeks, and I'm back with another video review. This is actually one of those videos that I've been trying to do, I've been trying to find time to do it for quite a while. I'll be honest about it. However, in that time, it's given me more opportunity to try and actually test these in different circumstances, different lengths of rides, and things like that. Um, the blue guys off to my far left uh, uh, is, or your right, is my old shoes that, my old tried and trusty, my Shimano's. These guys, carbon fiber, they're they're really, really wonderful shoe. They're older. They're older. Um, but they've been kind of my tried and true shoe for a long time. Uh, they are a mountain shoe, um, and I've kind of gone from mountain biking to more, I, I mean, different types of riding, but um, not as much mountain biking anymore. I really just don't do a whole lot of it. But they've still kind of gone with me no matter what. And the big thing about these is they are very stiff. However, Long rides suck on these. They are not the most comfortable for lengthy rides. So, so those down there. In comes Louis Garneau's Airlight series. Now, this is the Airlight, um, technically, right? The uh, Course Airlight 2. Um, the Airlight, the first one was kind of the tried and true road shoe. Um, nice and light, very stiff. And they've technically, with the, and I never tried the, the original Airlights. I have not personally. The Airlight 2s are very light, very comfortable, very stiff, and I love uh, the ratcheting system that they have on it. But what makes this shoe stand out is what they call their X Comfort Zone. Um, they introduced this, I think, a couple years ago, um, and essentially the shoe allow can actually expand. And it's actually designed so that if you have a little bit wider foot, um, you're not confined within that shoe. and It'll actually allow it to bend a little bit. Um, now, I do not have an ultimately wide foot. I just have a, a standard foot. Um, and that X comfort zone makes a huge difference when we're talking about lengthy rides. Um, more so than the shorter rides. It's a fantastic shoe. Love it. I don't mind wearing these all day. Um, they breathe really good. They do come with both what they call their uh, Cool Max insole. Uh, and... These insoles actually have different, what they, uh, I don't know if they're 3D printed, but they're different um, molds for the, 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 basically the arch that you have. But they also come with a set of, um, what are they called, hot stuff uh, insoles as well. So, you know, if you want to keep your foot warmer versus in the summertime, you want to keep your foot cooler, depending on the time of year that you're riding, um, it's going to depend on which sole you're going to ride. And then the actual pad, they do come with, uh, three different, um, essentially, arch support pads, and they just kind of stick onto it. So even if you're going from the cool to the warm, uh, you just pop that off, and then it pops onto the, you know, the same sole uh, with these three of these uh, stub outs, I guess, on the insole itself. Um, I have not done as much riding with these with the hot stuff ones. Um, I've done almost everything with the Cool Max, the cooling ones. Um, but my feet don't really sweat too badly in them. But the big thing about them, like I said, is longevity. How long, how, for, for long rides. Can I wear them for an extended period of time? And that is the biggest thing about these guys is yes, you can. But they are still rigid enough where you still qualify, you know, for a nice, basically all your, your pedal power is going right into the, the stroke. So, um, fantastic in that regard. Uh, I have these adapters, which uh, I guess I slammed off a little bit, uh, but I'm running the um, uh, Crank Brothers pedals, and with the Crank Brother pedal, with all the adapters and everything to get the Crank Brothers pedal to work, um, each shoe I'm clocking in about 210 grams. I think without everything, I think they're like 220, give or take, um, but as ridden, that's what each shoe is riding, which is a fairly light shoe, to be honest, a really light shoe. Um, but my, like I said, the big thing for me is going to be comfort. So let me bring it in here and show you what I'm talking about. And I'll show you what it looks like on the foot. So you can see here kind of where the, uh, the side of your foot hits. It's what they call the X comfort zone. Now, when I first got them, I thought, wow, that's kind of just a, oh, it's got this technology or whatever. Uh, no, it, 
this makes a difference. It's kind of crazy, but, but I mean, if I can show you, um, I can, you know, I can get it to flex out, right? And so when you're riding for, specifically with long periods of time, when you're pushing on your foot, your foot has a natural tendency to widen out, right? Um, most shoes, just like ugh, the old try and true I got here, right? This doesn't move very much, very limited, just as much as the fabric's gonna allow you. These are dirty in there collecting dog hair because I haven't been using them for quite a long time now. But these guys do. They have that this capability of actually expanding uh, the actual foot area and making it more comfortable. It feels less like you're constricting. So the crazy thing is I've gotten many fewer, um, what would you say, cramps, I guess? Uh, a lot fewer cramps in my foot when I was riding this shoe versus my old tried and true. And I love my old shoes. I do. They're, they've always been really good to me. Um, but these guys are more comfortable. Uh, that coupled with the fact of how easy they are to actually, um, you know, zip up, I guess, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm doing this with my, but you know, and then when you, you just kind of lift it and it just kind of releases and then you can get your foot out. So they're a lot easier to put on and take off. Um, but I think the easiest way to show you that is by actually going and throwing it on my feet and showing you on my feet. All right, so I'm outside here real quick just to kind of show you so it's better lighting and stuff. But at the same time, I did, didn't know, uh, tell you before, the fabric that's actually back here on the heel specifically um, is actually kind of a directional heel. If you're going down, so you're, you're putting the, the shoe on, it's nice and slick, right? But if you go the other direction, it kind of grips. You kind of hear it, right? And so it actually keeps the heel slide a lot. And so that's another big feature that I really like. But putting them on, uh, and I have my fit socks on now. Better socks than what I was wearing when I was shooting downstairs. Um, and I apologize with this video, but real easy to slip on. They, they stay nice and open. Uh, and then you just kind of adjust the, the, the tongue and you push these guys down and then you tighten. Same thing with the other side, adjust the tongue. Of course, I'm doing with this with my opposite hand because I'm filming with the other one. Sorry about that. But you can adjust these and right, you crank them to your liking. Uh, and then you can kind of see how it's going to bulge out a little bit. See that a little bit? Um, now it's going to change as you're pushing on it with your pedals. But walking is not too bad on these either. Sorry about the wind. But they are a good looking shoe and they work really good. And of course I'm wearing jeans, but that said, because uh, it's still kind of cold outside, but they work really good. And like I said before, they're really easy to take off. If you just pop this, these two guys here, you can literally just basically walk right out of them. But the ease of on and off, the comfort, the X comfort zone, the fabric in the, in the heel, all work out to making a fantastic shoe and they look really good too. Now of course when you're looking at a really good high-end shoe they don't come very cheap. Um, these guys if you were to purchase them today retail uh, $375. However you can find them on sale. Uh, Louis Garneau on their own website actually has them on sale right now for your uh, $262.99. Um, I don't know how long that's good for but I will put links not only to Amazon, but also to Louis Garneau's own website where you can actually take a peek at more information on these guys. Um, they're not an inexpensive shoe, but kind of like bikes, um, you know, hardware that you're going to use regularly when you're riding tends to not be very cheap. And if you spend the money on it, you're going to enjoy it more. Now, this is not going to be for the guy that's going to take weekend, you know, just like uh, daily rides, things like that, or, you know, just rides every so often. This is going to be a shoe for people that are really looking to get the most out of their pedal power, but also for longevity. Right? Like, like I said, for if I'm, a, if I'm riding for a long distance, and I have ridden for hundreds of miles at a time, uh, well, 100 and whatever, um, these are fantastic. So uh, for those long rides, I highly recommend these guys. They are comfortable, um, easy to take on and off. Uh, and so even if you're going to do something and you need to slip them off real quick, you're not going to be untying. Uh, and they don't have the nasty Velcro. Now, a lot of the shoes are using this now. So 
uh, but it's just a plus, right? So if you have any questions, let me know below. Uh, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, Louis Erno makes some awesome footwear. I'm a huge fan now. Um, I've always been a fan of their cycling shorts and things and their gloves. But now with these guys, I'm eventually I'm going to be wearing nothing but Louis Erno, I think. So let me know what you think. Uh, otherwise, uh, check us out. Um, and uh, comment, subscribe, share the video. And we'll catch you on here on Bike Geeks for a future review. I've got a bunch of stuff coming. So stay tuned.